In this video, we are going to cover a new wave energy system that has shown astonishing results, the impact of which can be so profound that it can change the global energy mix. Firstly, a bit of context. Wave power is an enigma. Despite its tremendous potential, it remains the most underutilized form of renewable energy. It's baffling because wave energy is incredibly rich. It's dense, much denser than wind or solar. And according to estimates, the global wave energy potential is around 29,500 terawatt hours per year. To put that into context, the world's total electricity consumption in 2023 was around 28,000 terawatt hours. So yes, in theory, wave energy could meet or even exceed the entire planet's electricity needs at this point in time. Of course, we are never really going to harness all of it, but even if a fraction of it is harnessed, it can make a substantial difference. And it's not just the abundance of resources, but also its accessibility. Waves are more predictable than wind or solar. Waves carry 5 to 10 times more energy per square meter than wind, and 50% of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers of a coastline. So why is it that we haven't tapped into wave power as much as we should have? Well, for one, it's the harsh environment of the ocean. Salt water is incredibly corrosive. Wave power generators have to survive the sea 24-7. And biofueling and storms also need to be accounted for. Previous generators have faced the brunt of these harsh conditions and linkages that provide the relative motion to move the generators has structurally failed. Historically, interest in wave power peaked in the 1970s when a device called Salter's Duck demonstrated that over 90% of its power can be converted into electricity. This experiment, however, was conducted in lab conditions and devices needed to be more robust to meet real-life challenges. Linkages, in particular, needed to be made strong. If they're made stronger, then it translates to higher inertia of the wave power converter and that, in turn, lowers the efficiency of conversion. The amount of research on wave power over time was eclipsed by both wind and solar energy, owing to their lower capital cost and easier installation. Nonetheless, things kept moving. Pilamis Wave Energy Converter, which had a snake-like structure, was launched in the 2000s. Pilamis was a pioneering wave energy project. It achieved grid-connected power in 2004, deployed prototypes in Portugal and Scotland, and spied global interest. But commercial viability eluded it. Funding shortages, technical complexity, and unforgiving marine environments ultimately led to the company's collapse in 2014. Having learned from the mistakes of the past, this time a new company has risen to the challenge. Its core power ocean and their wave energy generator, the core power C4, is certainly creating ripples in the market. Their design type is a simple point absorber system. On the outside, it seems like a simple buoy. But on the inside of this 9 meter diameter round and 18 meters high vessel, there is negative spring mechanism that is designed to harness the power of the waves. This system is designed to tune and oscillate in resonance with waves, thereby amplifying the motion. At around 300 kilowatts rated capacity, the compact C4 buoy significantly outperforms legacy designs, delivering over five times the energy per ton compared to older wave energy converters. Given the wave power converter has a mass of around 20 tons, it sometimes exceeds delivering even 10 megawatt hour per ton. The most impressive feature of the core power energy generator, however, is its survivability. It's engineered such that in storm condition, it detunes to become transparent to wave force. In simple words, it relaxes the tension in the tether and thus dramatically improves survivability and reduces snatch loads by 80 to 90 percent. It's been deployed since September 2023 off northern Portugal, and the buoy has survived waves of over 18.5 meters in height during Storm Domingos in late 2023, affirming its storm mode resilience. 
Cold Power Seaforce outer hull is made from filament wound glass reinforced plastic, a lightweight sandwich composite designed to endure high fatigue, slamming and impact loads while resisting corrosion and water absorption. It can be deployed as an array alongside offshore wind farm and utilize the infrastructure that has already been laid down, thus reducing installation costs. So far, it's been deployed off the coast of Scotland and Portugal. With time, as it becomes a proven technology and demonstrates cost effectiveness, we may finally see wave energy take its rightful place alongside wind and solar in the global renewable energy mix. Core Power's ocean technology offers a compelling glimpse into what the future of wave power could look like. Compact, resilient and highly efficient. If the current momentum continues and if investment, policy and public interest follow, this could mark a turning point in the history of marine renewables. A future where we no longer just stand in the awe of the ocean's power, but actively harness it to power our world. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.